I'm gonna go through a list of tools that has helped me tremendously. If you're a tech and you're just doing oil changes and you can't really troubleshoot, there's probably a reason why. Maybe you're not wanting to learn. Maybe you're not looking up videos on troubleshooting certain things. Um, one thing that has helped me a lot is YouTube. Go on YouTube when you're bored and you're waiting for something or you're at home and look up how to troubleshoot a starter, a starter coil relay, relays in general, um, fuel pumps, water pumps, anything. Anything that's on the generator look up on YouTube how to troubleshoot. Another thing that has really helped me is investing in tools. I was, I went to school for four years as an apprentice for, to become an electrician. And so I bought all my electrical tools first and then started buying generator tools. So I just wanna go over some stuff. I'll start with the hand tools first. Uh, maybe you can show your text this if they're wondering what they need. So First of all, you need a battery tester Which puts a load on the battery when you use your meter and you're just going on to the battery Yeah, you can turn the gen on and while it's cranking you can see the load that it's putting on there But this very simple hook it up to the battery turn this on it puts a hundred amps 100 amp load on there and it tells you you can even even have it while it's on the charging system I like to disconnect it because there are some times where I won't get the right reading But anyways, this has worked amazing for troubleshooting batteries Let's see here All right, I'm pretty sure this is called a boroscope. I haven't even messed with this yet I just bought this but anyways get one of these so that you can look inside the engine. I'm not good with engine work at all. I, I'm really not. I'm more electrical, but I am buying tools like a leak down test, um, a compression test, tester, all that stuff. You need one of these so that you can look inside the spark plug and look at the cylinders, see if there's anything going on there. Get yourself a meter adapter kit. It has all the different meter things that you need for troubleshooting to make it easier you need picks I have insulated tools I have just you need a bunch of everything you can do this job without it but having the right tools makes for an easier job and it allows you to have more fun soldering kit manometer radiator pressure tester I have two meters simple one right here mega which you don't need most jobs provide you this it's just you know I want to be on my own at some point and so I'm gonna need my own tools at some point power probe great for testing relays and all that stuff um, simple filter wrenches for small ones big ones get some insulated gloves insulated flatheads Phillips ratchets electronic Phillips flatheads battery terminal cleaner spark plug testers some potentiometers for troubleshooting any resistance value sensors um, wire cutters that's just from me doing electrical you know Tons of Allen key sizes, self tapper set. That's not a self tapper, but there is one somewhere. Let's see here. Multi tap for making different. That one's chipped, but you see what I'm saying. 
Um, let's see here. Some dikes. Bam. Uh, wire strippers. We got all that. We got that. We got that. Soldering kit. We have that. We have a torch. This is all just extra crap for doing oil changes. I do have a heat gun, extension cords, oil change set. This thing is awesome. I made a video. You unroll it and you can shape it to however you want. You know when you're doing uh, oil change on like a 20 kW, 30 kW, up to a 60 kW. Sometimes even on the radiator, the radiator drain, there's no way to put one of these and let it drain. So what you do is you make a little ramp and, and flow and guide the water into that. Very important to have these. It'll make your life a lot easier. I have another one. Unfold it. You can bend it however you, however you want. Different funnels. Do you need all these? No. I know one of our lead techs has no power tools. You just use ratchets. Does it make your life way easier? Yes. <laughs> and I'm all about the easiest and best thing. So I do have a sawzaw back there. I have an impact. I have a hammer drill. I have a grinder. I have a pry bar. I have an extension for hard bolts. I just, like I told you guys with the, um, I put 40 a week away so that at the end of the year when I get my tax return, I can buy a couple of things. I just got a torque wrench. Like I said, your job might supply all this. I like to have it for myself. I do side work, whatever. I want to be able to do anything that I need. This is also really cool. Uh, when you're bored and you're not doing anything, get a little receptacle and create to where you can get a 120 volt system off of any line, whatever. It's a little dangerous, but as long as you put your insulation on these, you're good. Uh, say I'm at a gen and I don't have a plug to do something. I can go to the transfer switch on the line side and tap off of this. Even though there is a black and a red, this isn't 240. I'll do 120, so red to line, black to neutral, or vice versa. Um, get some monkey wrenches so that you can open for diesel tanks and all that sort of stuff. Get you a, uh, a hammer. I forget what this is called. It's funny, but... Uh, let's see here. You need deep sockets, shallow sockets, Allen sets, different, different fittings. All sorts of sockets. Heat shrimp, heat shrink. Another thing. Different butt connectors, fork on, stake on. You need those. Different fuses. That will help you out. I just bought a three piece pry bar set from Craftsman on Amazon. This thing is amazing. It works awesome. Different stuff, little electronic, Phillips flathead. More Allen, uh, these are just wrenches, open end and closed. Just, um, yeah, just bought a little bottle uh, jack, 12 ton, pretty cheap. Helps for changing flywheels and stuff like that. Um, let's see here. That's about it. If you have any questions or anything, let me know. Just extra stuff. 
but this has helped me a lot, you know? I don't know a lot about engines. I don't know a lot about anything. But having the right tools to troubleshoot correctly is what's allowed me to, you know, go from doing oil changes to checking if a voltage regulator is bad or anything like that pretty quickly. Ask questions. I have asked so many questions, and sometimes it'll be the dumbest question that I ask, but that reinforces something in my mind for the total picture. Um, ask everything. Ask whatever you need to ask to make yourself understand something correctly. Other than that, that's it. Have a good Friday. Have a good weekend, and I will smell you later.